Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Everybody, welcome back to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris, and tonight we have checked out Big Nuns. Wait, Nude Nuns with Big Guns. <laughs> we are the bad guys. Nude Nuns with Big Guns. You know, you're not exactly the forgiving type. This sister is one bad mother. Nude nuns with big guns. Big nuns with nude guns. Nude guns. <laughs> we are back. And look at this. Look at how much space and room we have so for much activities, activities in here. Like so Core, members. Core members. Do you guys remember? This was probably one of the best times of our lives. Uh, a little show called Battlestar Galactica. I and knew for Battlestar Galactica. Like, last two seasons or something, they kept like hyping up the final five or the final four mm -hmm. Cylons will Cylons be revealed. Reveal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Big deal. And they have been revealed, gentlemen. And we ladies. are Cylons. Here we are. Kind of. Who do you think out of us would be a Cylon? Definitely Aaron. Definitely Aaron. Oh, unassuming. Wait, he's the guy you're like, <laughs> yeah, eh, he's unassuming. He they he's very fat friendly. Cylons. He's oh, everyone's wait, favorite. Does work. Like, yeah. That's my new band name, Fat Cylons. Yes. <laughs> AJ, you'd be a uh, uh, Baltar. Guys, yes, Baltar. Totally I would yeah, run for Baltar. president. President yeah. of the Galactic Empire. So who's that I'm make you, Chris? I'm a Dama. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got leadership skills. I got Dama. leadership qualities. You're, you're star I would make the hard decisions, okay? I do it all the time. <laughs> Dude, you'd still be back on the and fucking planet Earth. And Rebecca's man. Starbucks. She's the one saving everybody. And that's, uh, man, that I have no was, idea uh, what any of this is. Rebecca, oh my goodness. Katie Sackle. You ever watch Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> <laughs> Pivotal right. TV. Your badass TV. pilot. Yeah. In it's space. a great show. Great show. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we are here to talk about tonight because tonight Damn. it is a Patreon recommendation of the nude nuns with the big guns. <sighs> Which is what we're going to talk about tonight. <laughs> Lindsay and Spiv will be back next week. Um, and I'm debating something, which we can talk about at the end of the show. Oh, mm. Kicking Spiv off, huh? Well, it sounds way more interesting okay. than what we're going to talk about. Yeah. So, we'll just skip Spiv's ahead. Again the boot. Wow. Stefan oh. from uh, Cannibal Boys was supposed to join us, but he forgot. Uh, so he's not here. Uh, <laughs> So he, it happens. He joined the pre-show, though. So that was you right. can join the yeah, pre-show, which pre you can get access to that if you're a patron. Um, yeah, that's right. So sign up, everybody. We have to extend this out because I feel like we don't have that much to talk about. Oh, so banter quotient uh, is, is just make it work. there today. Yeah. The, there's there's no banter. We're not. How about that you. weather? Oh my God, that weather out there today, Aaron. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just getting hotter and hotter. Like a Mexican standoff with some new nuns. <laughs> but we're gonna do it aj what is the new nuns with the big guns about when a nun is forced to take matters into her own hands a ruthless gang of bikers and a corrupt church stand in her way will she spread the holy gospel or will she seek out her full revenge in the 2010 Grindhouse classic, New Nuns with Big Guns, 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 It's rated X for all the nudity. Rated X because it's made by a perverted 13-year-old. For full frontal. Yeah, I mean, I will say the movie delivers on some of those aspects. Which is a lot to ask for like i wasn't expecting yeah. that just a little <laughs> right. bit of a tease for what's to come and then it's like I did not what did tubi actually cut out yeah what did tubi didn't cut anything out i don't think you sure i thought there was a scene where it jumped and i was like oh there yeah. i didn't notice there was full-on dong at one point yeah, yeah. It was. yeah. yeah. multiple yeah. times like yeah. one real one think, one severed mm -hmm. one i would think <laughs> tubi would not be okay with the dong 
I mean, it wasn't that impressive, so I guess they just like, yeah, nobody cares. He's on. He's watching. Yeah. Do you ever think we'll reach a point in in uh, where it's just like doesn't matter, dong, no dong, full nudity acceptance? I think we're already kind of getting there with TV in general. I mean, not in the yeah. states, yeah. but Europe. Like been you there turn forever. on, like you're watching, like mm-hmm. you know, Fox Sons at of night. Anarchy. You're watching Simpsons, and then. The next show after it is like a sitcom, but everybody's dong and asshole and stuff is just hanging out. Like they walk in naked into I a mean, sitcom, and I don't think so. We're, we're like going it's the big, the bang. New bang. <laughs> yeah. Right. big I mean, bang. not the Supreme Court has anything to do with it, Chris. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I feel oh yeah, like we're going backwards, man. And and yeah. I feel like if that's normalized, like then you had to find the next tab. Yeah, what becomes type extreme type after that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what f- becomes extreme? That's the question. Then it's like necrophilia and shit like that. These are not good things. Nobody wants these things. I like that's the first thing you went to, necrophilia. Well, I was looking at you. The reason I said that is because you went, yeah. Like what comes, and yeah. Because I, yeah, because you watched that Garotica movie and you were like into it. So, oh, well, Mark picked it. Mark did pick it. It was definitely Mark pick. Definitely Mark pick. Anyways, Aaron, do you have a history hole prepared? No. I forgot. I forgot to watch the movie. And then I, I, I struggled Christ, to watch man. the movie wow. tonight. I kept finding myself like not staring at my computer and then being in a different room. And I'm like, my oh next, yeah, I'm watching a movie. <laughs> my my, my ADD kicked Chris, in really yeah. hard with this thing. And I was like all over the place doing stuff instead of watching the movie. So I went back and tried to watch it a few times. I just ran out of time yeah. to do a history hole. So I apologize. Let's do a history hole. Not that it really mattered. This is a very low budget film. Um, yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, Aaron's like fucking vacuum. I no. know oh, it's Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, AC. What is it, Rebecca? Uh, oh, her uh-huh. brand new. It doesn't work. Her brand new coil or whatever she got in that there. That capacitor's <laughs> working overtime. I hope that, that works. Yeah, listen to that. Up. It sounds like a jet <laughs> taking off. Holy shit! <laughs> 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 gotta keep it cold. <laughs> gotta keep it cold. Gotta keep it like an ice box. Literally right? thirty-three <laughs> degrees in there. Keep it an ice box. I don't know why I keep blowing out these capacitors. That's where I do it. No, there's no rabbit hole, well, no history hole. This is going to be a pretty weak wow. uh, week, unfortunately. Well, I did make it up to the listeners by releasing the infamous Dune Sember episode nice. randomly Ooh. today uh, yeah. on, I don't remember what the hell movie it was. And I have no idea why I didn't release it before. It's something so. Dune. <laughs> Dune. You have Warriors. so much unreleased material over there. I have so much unreleased Dune Sitting on death. like hundreds of episodes. Cyber Dune. I am not sitting on hundreds of episodes. Dune-topia. You might be. But Dune I guess of the we'll dead. move on, guys. And we're going to talk about new nuns with big guns. <laughs> yeah. Um, new this is going to be like guns. a 35-minute long episode. This is I think wow. it's going to be 15 minutes long. <laughs> this is not the first time. When we first yeah, started the show, it was only like a half an hour long. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's true. It's grown to now almost an hour and a half long. And people complain epic. about that, too. So we're going to give them Dune Drifter is what you Wait, released who? today. What do they complain about? How long it is? Remember people used to complain about how long the show was? That's just the people complain about the show. No, people are going to complain way. about anything. Yeah, like, people complain about the shirts. They complain Guys, about... Like, you were the people that complained <laughs> about the length of the show. The <laughs> listeners never complained about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure listeners have complained about the length of the show. Think so? Well, they, yeah, on YouTube they do. Because YouTube's like everybody complains play. about everything on YouTube. You literally can't yeah. do anything right. Can't take feedback, anything. Feedback's about. useless. That's where Patreon's great because you feel like these people are willing to just still even a buck or two a month, just willing to be like more involved, mm-hmm. and so yeah. their opinions have some validation to them. So That's Patreon nice. said, That's cool. "You know what, guys? This is too long. Mm-hmm. I would think long and hard about it, and I'd want to talk to them about you know what they want." Where if it's just some random asshole on YouTube who just goes around blasting anything yeah. he doesn't like, that's different. It's cool because the Slack's growing personal quite a bit. and deep tonight. In on the past week, episode. right? We have a lot of new Patreon members. It's been yeah, it's been we awesome. Do. We do. It's awesome. At some point, we need to like list who they all are because it's pretty yeah. awesome. Mm. And we're letting them all down tonight with a mediocre episode. So let's continue. <laughs> new Just nuns for you guys. Yeah. Two, two episode oh. week, though. So well, Friday, we have a new Me, You, and Mark episode dropping. So yes. that's cool. That's true. Nice. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. What'd you guys watch? So that's something exciting. Last House on Hell Street. The 2002 that's... underground art house movie. Classic. Classic. 
All right, time to move on now. Talk about new nuns with big guns. So here we go. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash bad moon night show and sign up for $2 a month. You get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre show, as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash bad moon night show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Aaron dead? Right. Oh my god, Aaron's dead. <laughs> I thought he just passed out. You're like, <laughs> slouched over. <laughs> All right. I New nuns with big guns. This was a recommendation. I think it was Irene. Irene. It's yeah. Irene. Um, I think it was a joke recommendation, right? It was a joke recommendation. Really appreciate that, Irene. Um, and Super you can get fine. your movie on the wheel. Patreon. You too can ruin our show. lives. With the- <laughs> 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 Enjoy ruining lives. <laughs> so, AJ, what did you think of the new nuns and the big guns? It was something. Um, I kind of have like a mixed feeling with this. There were things in the movie that I felt were really great and kind of surprisingly interesting and good to find in this. And then there was things that were just like awful and just like made me hate, hate it. And honestly, I feel like the dislikes outweighed the likes in this case, in this movie, because okay. there's just okay. too much of that. My biggest problem with this movie is the story. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just not mm-hmm. interesting. The pacing's bad. And they do this classic thing that they do in a lot of bad movies where they have to show every little phone call and someone talks to somebody to mm. tell someone there's a phone call and then you go and show. it's just like, don't even show that stuff. You know, like there's so much filler nonsensically in the story. It's just like, it was rough. I did like that we this is like a grindhouse kind of movie, which is fun. Although like the grindhouse aspects, like the guns and stuff didn't really hold up, which should be the funnest part of the movie. Mm. And then my other problem was, if, if like, especially with stuff like this, like, I don't understand why everyone just basically remakes Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino movies when they try to make this stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just do something Without any different. of the soul of them, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like right. just do something different, man. Like, right. okay, yeah, obviously you love Robert Rodriguez, and that's you're just copying that for this. Like, just, like, I don't need it. I'm tired of it, you know? Yeah. And you need good actors to pull those things off, too. Yes. Jamie, it's Rebecca's air conditioner. You're gonna have to live with it because she demands <laughs> air quality. Okay. God damn it. Be an ice It'll box, kick right? back off soon. <laughs> It'll kick back off. <clears throat> so not a fan of the new nuts. Not not really. Are you like a I fan said, of uh, Are you a fan of Robert Rodriguez? Uh, some things. Some things not so much. He's like a hit or miss from there. Okay. Okay. Aaron, what'd you think? Sounded like you had a great time. No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, this movie starts off, it's kind of stylistic in a way for a low budget film. And I will say they kind of try to keep that style going throughout most of the movie. It's pretty dark at times from a like a emotional feel to it. But mm-hmm. um, then it interjects this crazy weird humor at certain spots. Overall, I think my biggest challenge is just like it's just a ton of rape. Yeah. And, and yeah. a bunch of women being nude for this yeah. movie that's just not worth. I mean, if they want to, that's fine. But it's just not worth worth it there's not enough story to make any of that feel necessary like if you have an emotional connection to characters and you interject some of those things it can work in this case it's just meant for like shock value and you don't care about anybody so it Mm -hmm. it's not necessarily shocking it's just kind of gross yeah um the humor interjected can be somewhat okay sometimes but um it was let down a lot by the special effects too like the gun fights and stuff were terrible they just literally like zoomed into somebody's face with a still and then like put a decal bullet hole on their forehead like that part was kind of classic crap. bad movie stuff it was it was i will say i'll give props for like trying to keep a co- cohesive look to the movie though mm-hmm. that doesn't always happen especially with low budget true so. yeah that's my take okay yeah. rebecca yeah there like aj said there's definitely way more negatives than positives and the negatives were so glaring that they kind of overtook all of the positives i mean the rape scenes were not necessary to anything like multiple rape um, scenes. yeah multiple no rapes um 
Ex- it's exceedingly just, long too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like not like we're going to give the illusion that a rape is happening, but no, no we're going to do a like soft core scene. Rape yeah. Scenes. Um and that like after the first one it lost me and then when it continued I was I was done. Not a fan. What? <laughs> what? Fucking hated this movie. Oh, okay. I hated it. I hated every moment of it. I hated every watching moment. it. I'd ha- I I told my wife I was like I'm, I don't want to watch this movie. I hate yeah. this movie. I started it and I was like I really hate this movie. Um, now that being said, okay, I don't like uh, grindhousey exploitation movies. AJ always gives me shit. AJ and Mark always give me shit what? when we're watching an exploitation movie because I don't like them. Because you're always what, like, what, what, oh, exploitation? Chris is complaining. Yeah. Like, generally? Like, all kinds yeah. of exploitation cinema? We're, yeah, well, like... That's like everything we watch. Not really, though. Like, okay, <laughs> the difference here between, like, this and a witchcraft... Like, yeah, yeah. witchcraft is exploitative, too. But, like, it's, it's different, though. It's sillier. Like, remember mm-hmm. all the gimmicks they're doing during their sex scenes? Like, it's just a joke the whole time, it feels like. And in this, every, everything is so gross. And then... Yeah so it's so gratuitous yeah and none of the uh nudity is really like motivated by anything no. generally it's just like mm-hmm. yeah and and it's not even presented in a sexy way sure no. most sure. of the time but you would you would say if i was to ask you you would say that you'd like hobo of a shotgun which is an exploitation yes. movie yes, yes it is it is but so, it's well that's and that's more level. grindhousey too i guess right. so yeah, i guess exactly. i don't necessarily have a problem with the genre i don't this movie has a style but it's not yeah. a style that they made do you know what i mean like no, it's just, they're just replicating right. something else right exactly that's the problem that's but i the think they problems. replicate it reasonably well between that between like the yeah. uh this, as the scenes change they do some of the like the the words and the kind of that that oh, feel yeah. like mm-hmm. the fucking introducing every single character yeah, that you exactly. don't like yeah know. the characters that were going to be on in the movie for two minutes seconds yeah i'm not saying i like it but i'm saying it does it does fit within the the genre a bit yeah i like the idea conceptually like the non exploitation stuff can be fun when it's done well like this is just not done very well and we talked a little bit about the shootout scenes which should be the one thing that works in this movie and doesn't to make it successful you know what i mean like like they like the ending of the movie is a very good example. We're gonna you think we're gonna have this build up to this final confrontation and like the base or whatever. She just walks into a hallway, no establishing shot, just runs around, shoots people, they don't mm-hmm. even show half of it, and then like, mm-hmm. the movie ends. It's there's like, like no thought about it. She has yeah, no there's plan. no she just walks there's no climactic pacing to this movie. Right. It's just like this the whole time, like flat. Yeah, yeah. The, um James Dean's movie Fountaine and the Vengeful Nun has a very similar storyline to this. It does, with the the lesbian nuns mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. But that movie is more motivated by its action scenes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every action scene in this movie sucks. Yeah. Every one of them. That's Terrible. The, that's the biggest problem you can have with a movie like this. Like that's the one thing you have to make work. Like if that's going to be the genre, you know. Yeah, I don't know. So okay. What is the what what are the movies that it's influenced by, I guess? What seventies oh, well, movies would you say? Well I would I would say well, I would say definitely old school like Grindhouse, like underground kind of shit. But I, I would say this guy's super influenced by Robert Rodriguez, obviously. Yeah. Um For a more modern yeah, modern yeah Jacob. and Quentin Tarantino and just like the editing. But it doesn't have not any like well. clever dialogue. Like I'm not a Mm-mm. Quentin. Tarantino well, it, it fan, does. Really. It does in their right in their minds. Like his dialogue yeah. is like some <laughs> level. This is of the problem. Their this level the of problem. clever. <laughs> yes. Oh, calls guy kickstart because he's in a motorcycle gang. <laughs> I thought it was kickstand because kick he had a giant oh, kick dick stand. or whatever. Yeah, because so, his yeah, penis exactly. is big. <laughs> That's like something Quentin Tarantino would write, which was also Chris's nickname in high school. I didn't hear that. That's pretty funny. His was tripod. Fluid head. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, production values vary. Are right? Vary. There's yeah. times where I'm like, this looks 
pretty cool. Yeah. Right. But then and there's times like, what were they doing? There's times like, what were they doing? And then the audio shifts from being yeah. fine to being terrible. Yeah, pretty terrible. Mm-hmm. There's some some seriously bad ADR in certain spots. And I think the, the one Cheech thing and that Chong guy, he's that, like awful. that is impressive. The one thing that is impressive is this has a huge cast of characters. Like tons of people yeah, are in this. It really you know does. What I mean, like there's I think a lot he of works at a strip people. club, and he just got like some of the people that weren't there to come shoot film. Probably. Probably. Which whatever. I mean, I just I think I think the pacing also destroys this movie. The nudity was next level. Like every scene, I every wasn't scene. Expecting the amount that ex- of nudity. extreme. Yeah. Like I figured we could talk like about two, beyond like, good this is be, this movie is beyond everybody. Like it is, yeah. it is so, it's too much. <laughs> like, so it's so over the top. it's so gluttonous. Yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah. if Everything. I was to get a whole bunch of donuts, I like donuts. Yeah. But if I ate so many, at some point I wouldn't yes. want to eat anymore exactly. because it's right. too much and it hurts. And that's what this yeah. got to. Where I was like, oh, yeah. ooh, this is kind of because you're literally oh, like right. in Come scenes on, where you're fuck it. Yeah, you're, you're in like a scene. It's like a hotel room, and there's just some naked, passed out chick in the corner, just because they could do it. Like that's like every scene in this movie. Like they, like if we're gonna have like a, the a lesbian role in the movie for no reason and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we need at like, least one put, naked person in every scene. But she did titty, which is hilarious. Oh, you got a zerbert a titty occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> and I think people use like I think this is also a thing we know of like these these like newer grindhouse movies is it's such an excuse to do stuff like that more than making like a decent movie it's just like tons of naked people in it well, well like how how know, else like, would you do would you do that type of movie now like and still keep the shock value of old, old grindhouse well it's i think you have to have like shock. the action and you have to have the story because that's what people are coming the for a grindhouse. A over the top that, action right. like you want over the top violence right. typically well and and i the think story it's, line it's has missing to be kind of i'm sorry sideways yeah i think you're also mis- missing some of the grittiness too yeah. With well, modern production, okay. modern cameras, like everything has too much of a sheen on it to get that you, gritty feel that goes along with the the story of a grindhouse. I think you. Lose I think a lot. you could imitate the gritty. You feel. could Im- you could imitate it. They didn't try that here. But yeah. all they did I was just color correct things to try and make it look a little bit. I, I'm actually happy that they didn't lay over that filter of the, oh, like the fake film grain type of thing. Film grain filter. That's kind pretty of much like, every other yeah. filter in this. But you have. I don't know if this is considered grindhousey, but you have like um, the Devil's Rejects, right? Like it that's feels ex- grindhousey, kind of yeah. exploitate, well, kind of very yeah. exploitative in a lot of ways. Yeah. I guess it depends uh, on the approach to it. Yeah, right? How old is that now? I don't know, ten years probably. Well, that is when it. you watch like the grindhouse stuff, like Tarantino did and Rodriguez. They do a lot of like the fun kind of tongue in cheek seventies this of it, of like the silliness aspects of like the filter or like, you know, the effect yeah. to a little bit, but then you also have more serious grindhouse movies where there's none of that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like maybe musically. like, like a spit on your grave would be one. Like, you know, it's just a serious dark movie. Modern grindhouse movies. Machete. I've never seen the machete movies, but I loved hobo with a shotgun. Yeah. I love a shotgun, was, and that was it's a fun, fun movie. movie, and it was a it was a great idea, like. But that's not like a. This was like a sexploitation thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this right? was yeah. more more yeah. in that direction, but it felt like it wanted to be like a grindhouse action movie, but the gunfights didn't work, so it wasn't. I think that's what they were going <laughs> like, for. They just couldn't. Pull that's it what off, they were so going they for. But into, like they, yeah, you turned it and just turned it into sexually exploitative. And like this is another one of those things. Where it's like they had all this stuff, and it could have worked, you know, if they had a good story and they like focused on like the things that would matter, like oh, man, a good story. This scene so <laughs> fucked up. But see, this scene is like this scene is like from uh, the Devil's Rejects or something like that, sure, where they just sure. pick up this random family and they victimize mm-hmm. them and they rape them and all kinds of yeah. shit. And it's supposed to be like really it's like dark Last House on the Left and so. scary and creepy or whatever or whatever they do to make you uncomfortable. And in Devil's Rejects, it kind of works, and it's gross. And in this, it's just, like, gross. Like, they don't yeah, even, gross. like... But they don't... Ch- <laughs> There's no reason for it to be gross. Because mm-hmm. the, the bad guy is all, like, over-the-top comical. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's, he's, he's pretty good when he's not, like, huge... Can't it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think, understand. Like, in this scene especially, you have no emotional connection to these it's people the tone, It's the tones. They don't, they don't match for what they're doing. That's the issue. Well, it's like they just took these scenes that they thought would be sort of shocking and tried to fit mm-hmm. it in this like stupid, somewhat comical movie. Yeah. Well, and this it is my whole thing. 
this is my whole thing with this. Is, I don't Push. think that they meant those to be shocking. Really? I just think they thought it would be fucked lady? up and kind of like, I think they probably put that shit in. They're like, oh, this is funny. We're going to put this in our grindhouse film. Like the uh, lady getting, you know, you attacked in the funny, car. Though? What the fuck is wrong with you? You think that's I funny? Mean, okay, so I, I Devil's Rejects is apparently 37 years old, according to Jamie in chat. So apparently I was wrong about that. Uh, <laughs> 2004? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you were saying. Time flies. I, what well, when you say like a, a shocking movie though, like Last House on the Left, that's like the example. Or like what was it, Bay of really Blood? Old. Bay of Blood. But yeah, those were the eras they were making these movies. So this comes out. This is 2010. Yeah. So yeah, is, La- Last House on the Left was old, but... what early 70s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Sixty nine or seventy something. Like that. Yeah. But they have those um, Father's Day. That that company that made uh, Psycho Gorman Vector or something or other, mm-hmm. they make movies that I would consider like modern day exploitations, like over the top gore and lots of nudity and lots of like yeah. dark like trauma sh- level. Sh- much better than trauma <laughs> level. Mm. Uh, good trauma effects, to be fun, zany. fun right. horror, but they have like dirty sexual jokes and nudity and stuff as well, where. I don't know. If I it's think like it's when it's stuff, funny but... though, I can deal with it more than when it's just straight up like. This. Well, that's the it's problem. You gross. have a certain certain person that thinks that is funny, yeah, man, and the rest Ash of the world doesn't. You. you know, right? <laughs> that's right. The problem. Well, the, but there's no one who it's you know? this. This was not this old nun getting raped. Like, there's no way that's supposed to be funny, right? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I think that was the intention of the director. I really do. Because the tones of like it almost has to be the lines they're throwing out it. and stuff, the comedic elements. I think they think it's kind of funny in like a fucked up way. Because the way they shoot it for so long, too. Yeah. Like the scenes yeah. Are and he's just like, like throwing out lines. Seconds, Thirty seconds. When he's like stuff talking her and stuff. Like, I I just don't. Hmm. You know who knows? Who knows? I was shocked by that though. That that those kinds of scenes were in a movie like this. Because now, typically, when when we see these movies, you don't have that kind of crazy stuff happening. Honestly, no. even if it, they're trying to do like a grindhouse thing. No, they usually don't go that far to get like that much yeah. nudity and stuff in their movie. Yeah, I was kind of so surprised by all that. I I think Aaron might be right. Like this guy has some sort of connection with a strip club or something. Because mm-hmm. if you look up these people in this movie, like they've been in only his stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he must personally know them. And so he, maybe they thought like, well, we can't really do the action, but we can fill it with tons of nudity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And sometimes that's what happens. Like Brides of Satan was one that came out recently. It's kind of like a, an exploitation grindhouse kind of feel. And there's tons of nudity in that. But you don't have like the rape scenes and stuff like that. Like it's kind of fun over the top, you know, stuff. And then you have a better time enjoying that because that's the tone and it works you know um yeah you have bill oberst jr in this movie who's like the only actor i recognize um who i don't know it's like whatever he's in a lot of low budget shit but he comes back up at the end in a stinger setting up for the sequel Mm-hmm. yeah this how long ago was this made <laughs> They're working on it. They're working on it. They're raising that money. There's security locations. Bigger guns. Dude, this story was garbage. It was all over the place. Like what, she's literally what, what traveling was around. The story? What what is the story here? We should probably explain that. The, a the bit. story is this. You have a nun who works at the For local drug. nunnery where they right. make drugs and drug run. Yeah. There's a drug deal a, that goes down and it goes right. and it goes, it goes south. south. And so right. she is uh, given over to the cartel the people. The and bikers, then yeah. The bikers. And then they drug her and as prostitute a her out. Yeah. 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 As like a sex trafficked woman. So it, it turns into it's revenge from that point. And yeah, because she gets out then. She mm-hmm. gets out right. because one of the old man who d- dopes all the girls says she can't take anymore and I'm not a murderer. So that's, I think that's Cheech or Chong. It's one of the two. Yeah. 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 And then she gets out, though, and she's just out for revenge. No one will stand in her way, so she kills yeah. anyone, even that guy who helps. But she's also in love with another nun, mm-hmm. and that's how she got involved in the drug thing, I think. I'm not sure. 
I wasn't sure about that part. But the the prop, but most of the story isn't even uh, about this fucking no. nun. It's this bikers mm-hmm. that are just going around like yeah, it's the bikers talking to the church on telephones back and forth constantly. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the movie, which is not interesting at all. That's the movie right there, constantly. Someone will call. Someone has to go pick up the phone. Someone, someone will give orders over else. the phone. Yeah, that's the movie. Like that's not interesting. That's what I'm saying. You cut all of that out of the movie. It was not necessary. Yeah, I don't. You could keep the exact same storyline, but just fill it with gratuitous, over the top action scenes, and I think we all would have been. It would have been way a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it would have been fun. Like, and make it fun. Like, make it fun. Like, that's and what make, you're going for. The, you know, the gore hilarious too. Like, if you want to show mm-hmm. this rape crap, yeah, that's like, what it's show, missing. Show that well, you have... blown up in a hilarious way or something. Like, I mean, I don't know. Well, you have you have like a hint of some of that stuff. By the end at of the, the very movie. end, yeah. yeah, yeah, at the very end, because we have the bad Dick guy getting Gutty. his dick blown yeah. off. Is, <laughs> that's a prosthetic, oh, not real. No. So, <laughs> yeah, and to see if that was through the whole movie, it would be a different movie. It would be all about. It would be dick exploitation at that point. AJ. Well, it would just be <laughs> a, a, a grindhouse movie because you have the violence that's missing. All right. Neutered bikers and versus what the hell yeah. we call this? <laughs> yeah, this must have had some money though, because like there's so many people in this. You know what uh, I mean? I think like, they all work for damn. free. No, yeah, I was they gonna say, you think Unless they're they just, just pick... doing it for fun? <laughs> yeah, they casted like 13 bikers Full frontal for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the 50 the, women in here are, that are doing complete yeah, nudity. This are doing scene it here, fun. look how poorly that <laughs> shot. Like, the yeah, everyone's sucks, getting paid. Everything looks there. terrible. What do you mean? Everyone's it's great. It's one paid. shot. They just zoomed it way in and post. It looks like that looks awful. Did you notice all the, the t-shirts yeah. all these women are wearing that just have like slogans and sayings on them because they're you cheap. Can look, but you can't touch or whatever her yeah, shirts. Like, like everyone wore like a different one. This is Irene's fault. God damn it, Irene. Yeah, thanks, Irene. Watch the fight. Way to ruin the pot, Irene. <laughs> this is why, this is why no one's Ruin on the pod <laughs> it's all going downhill <laughs> you think this movie has a major dislike for the catholic church sure yeah i can see that yeah uh, about the, the church's drug business abusing yeah. people and stuff yeah there is no one from the catholic church that has a positive role in this movie that's no. fair but that's also like a classic kind of grindhouse exploitation thing. i don't I'm not a fan of this aesthetic. Nun cinema? I don't mind the nun cinema. Okay, mm-hmm. like we watched Killer Nun. That was a pretty yeah, fun Killer movie. Yeah, Killer Nun's a pretty decent movie. Um, yeah. Interesting storyline with twists and turns. Doesn't but have it's, also That's the, yeah. it's also Italian. It's also Italian. This <laughs> has this whole, everything yeah. is burnt orange sepia tone, okay? Mm-hmm. And yeah, then it has very this- dynamic lighting. Has the music, which- I'll play I'll play a little of that right now. It's like super yeah. budget Danny Elfman or something. Yeah, it has some like Peter the, Gunn going there. That's the best song in the movie. Yeah. And then the rest is just like this slightly distorted guitar. And then uh I don't want to call it cowboy. What's it called? Desperado. What's the music called? Cowboy music. Not cowboys. Country? Western? Country. Play some of that cowboy music. <laughs> Y'all want to listen to cowboy music? I mean, you might get, you might get all kinds of things if you just say that. Um, uh, cowboy. And I fucking hate Western. What, what is it called? Country. 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 <laughs> I don't like country music. I don't like hate Walmart country, country music. I'll say that. Huh? I don't like Walmart country. Right. That's like my cut well, like, I, I can uh, appreciate and, old country yeah. music. Even if I don't like it, I can I appreciate it. Yeah, like it. I, I can get into some like Johnny Cash and like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, some Johnny Cash, sure. I, mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying when I, like that country twang. Yeah. Fucking hate it. <laughs> you the it's twang. basically Nickelback, but for country now. It's like... <laughs> and I hate spurs, like fucking, I hate spurs wow. and like flames, like spurs. Yeah. And you hear the spurs. You just hate sound it. It's like tropical islands but i hate deserts too i hate the spurs i hate i hate it i think you just hate the west you don't and i hate like the film burn green thing like you don't like westerns yeah it's just cheesy and some you know i do like some westerns but 
it's this it's this style it's not necessarily yeah. the movie i like westerns but i don't like this style if yeah it's like way. it's like cartoony comic book yeah you know what i mean yes it's like a cartoon and, and, and when you do that you can get a, a lot more tongue-in-cheek kind of stuff happening yeah and you know what because we do cover so many movies that are like aliens right and i mm-hmm. like aliens and so in turn i generally enjoyed those movies that are just bad ripoffs right and this is just like a bad robert rodriguez style ripoff yeah that's exactly what it is and so maybe if you're a huge fan of his stuff you might like something there yeah i could see that you would you'd find things in here like the the guitar case and stuff like that you know it's like clearly desperado I don't know because they're not like filled with just random nudity though. No, no, they're no. There's not. a lot more to those movies. No. Yeah, like it's like what you said. Like you can have too much of one thing, and they just had too much of that. And the Sean, races. Yeah, Sean said that song sounds almost identical. Planet Terror's main theme. Yeah, it sounds very similar. You know what this movie is? Yeah, it's this. Oh my goodness. It's amazing we have an audience at all. Just a big old fart. Yeah. Yeah, they really hit missed the mark with us. It sounded like it was gonna be fun. Like I was like, oh Irene picked this out. Irene picked some good movies out last Dude, time. Irene picked like, out that did. last one. Really yeah. good. good. The uncaged one. Uncaged yeah. Irene, awesome. you're you're going down in the points here. I'm just yeah, Irene. Uh, you're you gonna have to take a really good one. From Gryffindor. All right, ten points yeah. from Gryffindor. Whatever you pick next, right. it better be like A plus material. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Huffle fuck loses ten points for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um no big guns in the movie either, which is no. ridiculous. Yeah, her uh, the mini gun handgun was pretty large. Oh, she did have, Dang. she had the Tommy gun at the end, right? Yeah, that was fucking lame how they shot that, though, too. Yeah. Oh, I wrote nude sequiturs. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> like non sequiturs. Yeah. Whatever, sequiturs. guys. Non sequiturs. If Spiff was here and Lindsay non was here, everyone would. sequiturs, Chris? <laughs> uh, what do you think Spiv thought of this? He hated it. You think Spiv too much would hate plot? This? He, he would plot. say he hated it, but he secretly loved it. He made Laura watch this. <laughs> oh, he did. He probably did. You think he's divorced yet? I think what about Lindsay? Do you think that. Lindsay would like this? No. No, because no. it's not fun. Yeah, like if it was fun, like it's it's missing what it needs. Like, you know? Yeah, it needs the fun element. Some like, people the last think this 10 is minutes fun. or whatever has some fun stuff to it. Some A people think bit. it's fun. But... Yeah, yeah. I think they do, but then. Like normal fire people kind of cool. have can't issues. Like when the, the, fire. That's cool. when the severed penis rolls over, like it's trying to get a treat. That's pretty funny. Yeah. See, that's that's what they were going for. Right. Was that level of fun? But they didn't do that the whole movie. They no. just grossed out. They just did it at the end there, and that was it. They have a lot of oh, characters too, but I don't really know. There why. were a lot. The introductions to the characters. Every time it happened. Yeah, we said that already. I, I, it was I, annoying. Um, it was that's that, that's just that style. How many? That's the style. Let me ask all of you. How many times have, did you guys pause this movie and walk away from it? How many times? <laughs> I just walked god. away from it. I didn't pause. Oh it. my god! <laughs> I did. So I think I think times. six times. I watched it over a period of three days and would go back and watch in like ten minute, fifteen minute increments. Two the last hours. movie I watched before this was the Netflix western, The Harder They Fall. Mm-hmm. And oh, that? that had like the same kind of thing where like they would introduce the characters as they mm-hmm. came mm-hmm. in. But that movie was... was there fifty of them. So <laughs> no, there weren't that many. Introduced characters at the the last minute of the movie. Like... But I was like, oh, this is kind of similar. Oh, never mind, not at all. <laughs> <sighs> I watched the first like fifteen minutes in bed, and I was like, I'm just fucking going to sleep. And then I put it on, and I just kept stopping it. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I kept doing other things. I was like, I can't watch this. this yeah, time. I, crazy. I would realize that I had totally spaced out for like fifteen minutes. And, yeah, but, but it I doesn't matter. Anything. But you didn't miss there's anything. No story. So, yeah. There's no story. There's no story. I was literally fast forwarding that moment. So I was like, I just got to get. Oh no, I, I hit thirty seconds. <laughs> Dark <laughs> lurking's looking pretty good now, isn't it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I found myself in a different lo- room folding Dark laundry, lurking. forgetting that I was even watching this piece of shit. That's just bad. Zero interest for me. 
So you would say you're not a fan. AJ, would you no. recommend the nude nuns with the big guns? No, no, I do not recommend it. it. It's it's a shame that we can't recommend this movie, but we cannot. It is not worth watching. It is it is boring. Like like I said, mm-hmm. we I stopped it so many times. I just it's not very original. No, or, or it was very bad, very man. New. It was a pile of garbage. Aaron, no, I can't recommend this. I I didn't enjoy it. I I really don't. I'm not a huge fan of rape scenes. I just I just don't like that. Yeah, it makes me angry. Like, <sighs> I know people that have suffered that crap, and that just is horrific. Um, so if you can do it without showing it a lot and it has a real impact because you care about the characters involved or something, it's one thing. But when it's just gratuitous for no reason, mm-hmm. it's not funny. It's just gross. What's this cheap, cheap shock value? Rebecca. Cheap shock value. It's not shy. It's just not shocking. This is the world we live in, but it's just shitty is what it is. Yeah, Rebecca. no, I can't recommend it either. It's There are just no redeeming qualities. That was pretty good. I'd recommend it. You would. <laughs> no, that's because you're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you love westerns. You love cowboy music. <laughs> Thank you. This is the worst movie we watched all year so far. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we watched oh. fucking Outpost Zeta. Yeah, we watched this is that worse than year? Outpost Zeta. Was yeah. it Outpost Zeta this year or was that last no, year? I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is the worst. This, this is the worst we moved. Outpost Zeta the was worst. good. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> First of all. No, that was that was garbage. Yeah. Hot garbage. That's like this is worse than garbage than fucking Templar into. Nation. This is worse than I didn't, I didn't Nation. see Templar Nation, so you're gonna have to watch these movies if you want to do the end of year show. Yeah, yeah, if you don't watch the movies, you can't be on the end of year. What show. doesn't What doesn't matter? Like the the worst movie of the year is gonna get picked anyway, so the best, just like last year. Oh, stop! <laughs> oh, we are not stop. picking this movie. Yeah, we all know what's gonna win. Lindsay used reverse psychology to trick us into <laughs> voting for ticker. Mm-hmm. Does Does anyone have any alternate titles? Well, Chris, I interpreted this uh, section as something different. I thought okay. alternate titles were too easy, so I wrote a poem in like 45 seconds. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's called Boobs versus Guns. Wait, <clears throat> give me one second. I have to cue something up. You can get up a fart. Are you here. ready? Yep. You need some background music, I think. All right, here we go. Boobs are great. Guns are fun. Though the sentiment is not shared by everyone. While you may contemplate the words above, others furiously masturbate until they are numb. Much like Highlander, for some there can be only one. But boobies, they come in packs of two, and therefore, for me, they are number one. (laughs) What the (laughs) shit? What do you say to that? I just had one. Oh, it was, I don't want none. That was my. I don't want none. <laughs> it's supposed to be easier to get published these days. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron. That was a really creative uh, poem you came up with there. Thank you for that. I put more effort into this than they did uh, the plot of this movie. Yeah, really? All right. Time to move on and play a game. Here we go. Game time, baby. Theories are the worst kind of right? Your methods are sloppy and your conclusions are high Shall we play? Oh, I gotta bring it up. <sighs> All <Okay. right>. Yes. <laughs> there we go. You Maybe are going to work together cabaret? to decide if it is a real strip club or not. I think we can do this. Bam boobies. Oh my oh, god, that's, that's a great. That is real. Name. That is real. That's gotta be real. Um, I think it's fake. I honestly think that's fake. It's too good. Like, it's what's the theme there? Like Bamboo bam. is the theme? Oh, yeah. oh that's fake. I made that one up. It just that's good. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> if you ever want to change careers, I can see like a TV themed, <laughs> themed <laughs> band, you know? <laughs> Everybody dresses Panda, up as koala bears or something? Yeah, Panda. Panda. You can hire <laughs> Joey to just go, whoa. For the, for the I was video. like, well, maybe in Japan <laughs> somewhere. How about the rear end? end? Yes. Falls you know like in the is? back of another building. No, that's like a truck stop strip club. That's what that it's is. like a it's a it's an only butt themed strip club. <laughs> yeah, that's so real. you just get ass. Mm-hmm. It is real. There it is. There it is. Exotic dancers open like at four. Sign. Open Sunday at six. 
the rear what, end. What were the uh, names of the strip clubs in this movie? It was like Tit Flickers? And uh, the one? Titty Flicker and the Cherry Popper. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Gross. All right, how about Fuzzy Holes? <laughs> oh, my God. That's yeah. fine. I don't think that's it's for real. furries. Nah, that's definitely real. one. That's definitely real. You say no. Fuzzy Holes? Yo, that's let's go down date. to Fuzzy Holes. I hear they got a... They got a new dancer starting. They got a new dancer down at Fuzzy Holes. Is it like yeah, a real. male strip club? It is real. Wow. There it is. Fuzzy Holes. Nice sign. That's erotic. <laughs> I love the vintage signs. <laughs> How about volcanic eruptions? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. That's gonna because I just imagine like that's like Miami these, like, or something. This is what these you get these guys that like have money, retire early, they're idiots, and they open up places like this. That's what this <laughs> is. Yes. Sounds like you have a plan. It is true. There you go. Damn. Ooh, adult film star Mary Carey. Who's that? Yeah, we missed Not it. Not Mariah Carey. Mary Carey. Harry Carey? Um, how about Stinky Nights? Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> why is that real? It's totally the real, but why? <laughs> near a, Nights? a dumpster. Or a, uh, <laughs> I like these names that work against Sewage the treatment plant. <laughs> you just name it something awful so no one comes. They I'm named it say, something normal, like people would go to it because it's not going to show up on their credit card. I feel card like that again is Stinky thing. Nights. Someone picked. Oh, I'm oh say Chris, no. you're right. Say no. You're right. It should be like Fuzzy Steve's. Holes Deli. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fake. fake. Mm-hmm. Lame. How about cockeye? Oh, 100% yeah, that's real. definitely 100% real. Fake. There's one in every state. <laughs> it's a franchise. Like Springfield. Mm-hmm. It's a franchise. It is real. There it, it is. is. Model Dancers Club cockeye. That's a great sign, by the way. That one looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'd go to it that does. one. It looks like it's in... Where is this, Hong Kong? Yeah. No, is it? Sequest, Aqua Love. Oh, I'd totally go there. there CJ, you want to go to the cock cock bench. <laughs> Let's do it. Road trip. All right, how about booby trap? Cool. Yes, that's totally. Yeah, that's pretty that's, funny. That's that's, that's good. That's easily one. Um, it's too good. I'm gonna say no. It's not. That was definitely. That is. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is. Wesley. Oh, look at that trap. sign, dude. That's, yeah. a, that's a good cool sign. sign. Look at that design. I mean, the sign is like holding the point. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're gonna roll oh, your strip club name. <laughs> okay. This is great. All right. All right. So, who's going first? Chris, you're on top. Here Chris. we go. Okay. You got a uh, three. So A. A. Oh, nine. I think that's <laughs> no supposed snorkeling. to be snorkeling. <laughs> snorkeling. Not <laughs> snorkeling. What is this list? So it's a snorkeling going. drill. <laughs> what the hell? What, is that? Drill? what? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> that makes no sense. I think it's I think going snorkeling. I want to go Stinky snorkeling drill. drill. <laughs> you might as well. You're not Come see me better. at the fuzzy holes or whatever it was called. <laughs> All right, AJ, you've got your. Snorkeling. Jesus. Zebra. That is he what? Uh, <laughs> Doesn't even make any You are snorkeling sense. zebra. We'll be closed in one week. <laughs> <laughs> We're not looking good here. Aaron, you have your what? Okay. Manly. Cherry. Morley. Oh Ooh, cherry. Aaron. Aaron's our number one. Cherry. Aaron's our money maker. Helmet. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, you got that your cherry helmet? She's he's performing tonight. And oh, I yeah. have Kansas City's. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's good. That's a good start. Strong. Sexy. Oh. oh. Ooh. Cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's so I dumb. Feel like- <laughs> Digit three needs redone in <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> what would we name our strip club from this list? Oh, this is our strip club name, not our stripper name. No, right. you don't. Yes. Right. Did you not read this? Oh, yeah, this I think Kansas club. City's a good start. <laughs> yeah, and after good. that, I like lumpy. How about mm-hmm. one lumpy thumb? <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Oh, 
your New sexy York's fork. vanilla drill. Yeah, see, there's some things that could work. The we just horny, aren't getting any of them. The manly rhino. The manly rhino? There you go. The horny fork, because we serve <laughs> good food, too. <laughs> it's a pasta joint. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a farm to plate kind of deal. <laughs> I like one lumpy cantaloupe personally. I just think that's great. Oh, All right, that thank you, Rebecca. That was a that fun was game. Fun. All right, time to move on. Do some listener feedback. Here we go. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. E mess. You tiny little e mess. You precious little e man. Where are you? All right. Listener feedback. I have to do it again, I guess, since uh, Spook is not here and no one else is going to pull up the YouTube to read you the comments. Do it? It's so. too much work. Mm. You want to do it? You can do it. Go ahead, Aaron. I don't really Aaron, want to do it. why don't you do it since you can do a history Do you have to do it in Yay. the vein of Spiv? No, don't. For no, love please of God, don't. It's been a, we need a break. A, no one can do a, a, a that. mediocre <laughs> episode already. We don't need All that. Right, so we're doing <laughs> evil, speak. <laughs> evil speak. Evil speak. Evil speak. All right. Speak. So evil speak. Some commentary we have here. We found one. Paul Lilienthal says, "I feel like a child who recently played a game of Operation is higher on my list of preferred emergency surgeons than Chris's." If you recall, Chris was talking about some sort of surgery involving shoving tater tots into somebody's body cavity. It was a scientific and then, thing. Removing their just, gallbladder. You stuffed the tater tots <laughs> in to see if his gallbladder was being affected by them, I believe is what the thing was. And I I think if, do you think somebody gives you a scalpel yeah. and a YouTube video, do you think you could perform a gallbladder removable surgery? No, I have passed. Oh, no. <laughs> you need suction? Like, you need to know what you're doing, man. Do you yeah. see? You can't see what you're doing. A lot of it's done by just being able to feel and know where everything goes. And muscle memory. They do, memory. They yeah. do it how do they so know many how to times. Do like, if you ever worked on, like, a car, like, there's times where you mm. can't see what you're doing, but you know how to feel around yeah. and figure out where you're supposed to do it. You're just, like, you know, master. Yeah. You're luck. master at this right. point. That would totally okay. be a YouTube channel, too. And if you don't know so what you're the- doing, you, like, nick their stomach like mom had, and then they have to be in the hospital for an extra week. Okay. That's well, that got so. dark. Thanks, Aaron. I'm just saying, so. the first time you're like, I'm just out of surgery school, and the first person you go to town on, like, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Dude, don't. That's you, true. You, you, yeah, but you, you're you go like, to town before you're even done with surgery school. Yeah. I mean, you start small. It's not like right. you're, like, replacing And you have heart. someone totally. right there. All right. Yeah. Let's start easy. Do you think you could do a vasectomy? I'm, t- I'm debating of doing one right now. 100%? <laughs> you think you could do it? It's just a I snip. Totally it's easy. That. That's all you have to do. It's not even life-threatening. One snip. Yeah, so well, the simplest the surgeries there is. I'm I'm trying to get my instructions yeah, that do that. It does the computer no. does it? You don't even have to do anything. The no, there's no computer. Uh, there's a dick. It's there's really a dick computer. There's a like laser that? computer. It goes, <laughs> no, there's not. No, there's yeah. a super super futuristic dick laser computer. Mm-hmm. Is what you're telling me? Yeah, where okay. do you think all our our money's gone for healthcare? Come on, guys. Dick lasers. Oh, lasers. Penis computers. Lasers. Dick lasers. Penis computers. Lasers. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. staying on penis computers. What I, movie did we have that had penis laser? I, I I think you could do a vasectomy at your house. You just need a knife and like a soldering iron, and you're, you're yeah, good you to have go. to cauterize really, it. You just really need not. a nail clipper. Oh, I mean to be fair, geez. that's that's how a lot of surgeries happen in this country. <laughs> Jesus, that's what I'm saying. Like, All right, this is making well, my okay, balls so ache. So I, I won't do your gallbladder removal, but I will give you a vasectomy if you need it. What mm-hmm. if you take the gallbladder out and stick it in the scrotum, Chris? I kind of wanted to keep my Stop gallbladder, the but works. they didn't give it to me, which I think yeah. is they didn't even offer to give it to me, which is bullshit, mm-hmm. right? Like, I didn't sign waste. that they get to keep it. Right. You probably but didn't I mean, to get it's your, mine. removed. You could have pickled that thing. Why yeah, didn't they just bore it, it out? Like, why not just keep it in there and just bore it out so shit just flows through? <laughs> bore it out? You mean like... Yeah. So now you have space. You should rent that space in your body. for a while. I have room like in there. It doesn't just shrivel up and it. go away. It's rental property, See, I, Chris. I don't Sub-lease understand Airbnb. what happens when someone has surgery Sub-lease and like that. multiple organs are removed. Like my aunt yeah. just had a hysterectomy. That's pretty. What happens it, pretty with invasive. all that space that's now? 
room for, for activities. activities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, well, this. I mean, they put they put like structure in right to hold like the bladder in place and do some of the other yeah, stuff. I think like usually. slings and stuff. Right. Yeah, I don't plastics. think they put anything in here. They just took my gallbladder out. Yeah, but you yeah don't for have, you, they do. You don't yeah. have a uterus. Packed it with tater oh, tots. Here we go. All now all of a sudden, I don't have tater tots. <laughs> this is going to be like those Mesothelioma commercials. You're like, have you been packed with tater tots for a surgery? Call <laughs> 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 oh, Reinhardt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 777. Seven, seven. <laughs> Whatever. 1 800 Tater Got Tot. <laughs> or something. I, think there's, I, think there's, I, think, I think there's a good reason to shove tater tots in there. Uh, I don't need to get into Look, it. Look, right I love now. tater tots, but I don't think they're best taken internally like that. Probably not. All right, some, some more comments from last week. We have David right. Black who says, some good old satanic computing, just like the ancients practiced. Loved it. A great example of a good, bad movie. I would agree. Mm -hmm. He also has alternate titles that are ellipsis. What? He didn't actually list them. He just put an ellipsis. No, you have ellipsis. to click read more. It's Satan's No, there's, speak nothing, and there's spell. nothing more to read. Satan speak and spell. I can't. It's not giving me that. Aaron doesn't know how to use the internet. He's, <laughs> He's, oh, wait, an, well, old He's an old man. He's an old man. No, no, I got it. I had to go full screen. It won't do it when I go half screen. Uh oh. What the hell? Uh -huh. That's stupid. Watch out, Chris. going to be asking you how to use the DVD remote. Just oh saying. God. How do I, I set the clock on my I VCR, Chris? <laughs> how will I know if my tater tots are done cooking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marilyn. Can, Marilyn Cadepper says, "Evil Speak was good." Besides the ending, I like the beheading at the beginning. Alternate title, mm. Download of the Damned. That's a cool alternate mm, title. I like that. That's a good name. We should yeah. use that. We should totally get like a virus over. and it like oh. use it. Turns we know somebody like that knows Clint Howard. Maybe we could like get him shit. to come make it for us. Do you think all these kids that have been I growing up with technology knows. watch movies like this and think that's how our computers actually worked? <laughs> they kind of did. <laughs> all right. So Jason K says. I don't think kids. I don't think kids know how to use desktop computers. That's true. My kids a lot of do. Them don't. I made them. My kids do, but like I think yeah. like twenty year olds nowadays. Yeah, that's true. No, I've had don't. college students that don't apps. know how to use laptops and stuff. Do we crazy. have like nurses? They're so sit down and start they're, poking they're, the screen. Yeah, like yeah. it's went in a way like a circle. Now we're we back have nurses boomers. that you hand they're them a healthcare boomers. phone and they're trying to swipe on a little three inch mm -hmm. screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they have no idea how to dial with numbers. Like it's insane. I I do slap at my wife's laptop screen occasionally. Because I think it's touch screen. It's not. And I'm always I hate when it's touch not. screens. Yeah, I do that when yeah. I, I'm using uh, my like iPad it. too much at school and oh, I go to I my don't. laptop. I try to touch it. And... Yeah. All, to my, scroll, all my computers are touch screen and I never yeah, done use that. it at all. Why? Right? Touch is nice. it's stupid. For computers, it's, a piece of stupid. Stupid. it's not a, it's not a it's tablet. It's uncomfortable. Your face it, we're is not, dumb. We're not merging things here. It should be separate. Why don't you make it all one? Why don't you embrace innovation? What am I going to do on the screen on a computer that I can't do with a mouse and keyboard? What's the point? Right. Sometimes I'm just get my just screen dirty to scroll with oil. or whatever. If you're on a laptop with no mouse, it's much easier to. If I'm like scrolling through images or I'm trying to find oh, something, he uses a laptop easier. with no mouse. Yeah, what the well, fuck? Sometimes is that's a, that's some, sometimes where you have to do when you're out somewhere. I guess. Well, take a mouse. I don't know. I'm pretty fast with my laptop. I don't need no mouse. Because I hate this touchpad thing. This touchpad. They're terrible. You have a master. That, mm -hmm. that person. The worst is the guess. IBM yeah. little eracer thing. Oh, you have to really master <laughs> that fucking uh, thing. I got to the this, nub. but they're terrible. All right, moving along. Jason the Case. The nub. You just feel mm -hmm. dirty touching it the whole time. Like you're like turning on this laptop. Know, like, we already stopped on. talking about the movie. <laughs> we already talked about titty flicker. We're not talking about, about, about the dirty nub. the show. Sorry. There you go. There's your strip club name. The dirty nub. Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, Jason K says, I'm amazed that after more than three seasons, Bad Movie Podcast hasn't reviewed the entertaining, terrible movies, Miami Connection, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, and the glorious embarrassment that is the Wicker Man movie remake, which is unintentionally, was intentionally made as a serious horror movie. Yeah. No, in not the seasons. bees. I We're remember they six. held that for release from being reviewed because the director says that that people were just weren't going to get it. It was too artistic. Artistic. It's <laughs> oh, artistic. That was, their, that was their excuse for holding it to be reviewed. The original was kind of interesting. The, the remake is... is uh, yeah. The, the problem so, with uh, doing oh, Miami please. Connection and Hard Ticket to Hawaii and like Troll 2 and all that shit mm -hmm. is like, what are we going to say that hasn't already been said Let's by say, a million yeah. other people? They're very popular That's movies. But right. we could do them, call it like Sell Out Tober or some shit where we just do like... Oh, that's fun. Mm. Just yeah. do all the sellout movies? We can do that. Like, like bigger Shiltober. known movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. Shiltober, something like that. All right, Taylor Ann says, alternate title, Evie, Evil Speak, a.k.a. You're the Devil's Son. You're the Devil's Son. 
<laughs> what was that? What song was that? I don't that remember movie what movie that was, but it was a cool song. Haunted oh. something, right? We watched that this mm-hmm. year. Yeah. That was cool. Actually, that was a terrible movie, Halloween but that song movie? was cool. Yeah, that was the only good part of that <laughs> yeah, movie. I know. <laughs> Come on, son! Is that the one with the pumpkins? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Hack-O-Lantern, right? It was Pumpkin Paul. It was a Hack-O-Lantern. Hack-O-Lantern. Yeah. Had a music video on it. Uh, Jason Case <laughs> also adds, the man that created the entertainment channel Good Bad Flick seriously said while reviewing the movie from 1990 Captain America that the movie doesn't deserve to be hated, which is laughable because it's an hmm. awful movie that deserves the hate it gets. That's the yeah. Pion cool. one? Wow, sure those guys are just too nice. Because to... we talked about Albert Pion's he Captain America on last episode. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Came yeah. Up, yeah. I'd, I'd watch it. I'd, I, I'd I'll always give Pion, Pion a chance. Right. Yeah, Pion's always good. And then we have yeah. one Spivonius who says, greetings from Wacken. And John Burnham as adds, as hope you're basement. rocking out, brother. <laughs> That's all Spivel from last back. week. <laughs> Spivel will be back. He'll report on all of his Wacken adventures. Yeah, I'm um, kind of excited to hear something. I heard he strained his elbow like Wacken so hard. Oh, man. He's got got be careful his over there. Coccyx, his He's got, no, that's what's not that a thing called on your wrist? Your uh, cock ups? He needs a cock up splint. <laughs> what? You just put, just rub some, uh, rub some mashed potatoes. That's the thing, cock up splint. Look it up. Do you think he'll be back cock- next week? Do you think he'll still up. be jet lagged? <laughs> cock up, cock up wrist. He's splint. home. I know, but it's for carcal. Car- I was joking. Car- like he'll just, he won't be on tunnel? next week because he'll carcal still be tunnel. jet lagged. <laughs> What'd you say, AJ? I said I don't think he'll be on next week. He'll probably still be oh. jet lagged. He's going to fucking, yeah, he's going to... He'll come up with something, right? I didn't yeah, go anywhere just, and I feel he's jet gonna lagged. He's bringing this thing out for how long mm-hmm. he can get it out of this. Mm-hmm. Wow, guys, it's been like four months, but I'm just still tired from whacking. You know? <laughs> it's a different <laughs> time zone. Never stopped. <laughs> never stopped whacking. Never stopped. Um, well, that's the question. Here's what we could do. Because the next section is the wheel, right? Yes. Um, oh, I guess we should first say, if you're a listener and you want to get your feedback on the show, leave it on them YouTubes to look up Bad Movie Night. Leave it on that episode, and we'll read it on next week's show. But <clears throat> we have all the original people back next week, full crew. Do we want to do what needs done? I think I know what you're witchcraft. talking about, Chris. Witchcraft. I think I know what you're talking witchcraft about. Witchcraft 9. Let's yes. Do it. Let's do, do it. Or after this yes. movie, well, can't get worse. Uh, yeah, really. I, 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 well, that was my concern. The last was, one was actually kind of fun. Do we so. really want another good. like sex last two were good. exploitation movie though? Wait, which one's next? Which one's next? Mm, that's oh, what's the number nine. We're on Witchcraft nine, right? Is that what we're on? I feel like Stockholm. Okay, okay. Is so I feel like pretty good here. We're still in this Alrighty. producers. Wheel, so it's going to be like the other ones. It'll probably we on Witchcraft nine one. or ten. We watched we're Witchcraft eight, Salem's Ghost. Yeah. So nine is we're yeah. on Witchcraft nine. nine. It hasn't is switched we production do? companies yet. I think we do Bitter it. Bitter flesh. Yeah, I, I want to. I miss right. it. Piece uh, of these dying. Who, anybody in chat? What do you guys want? What do you guys want? Yeah, what do you guys want? You want witchcraft? Think we can? Think we can do that, everyone? <laughs> Professional no one, re- no one responds. No one do you responds. think the nun will get into heaven? <laughs> They're like, fuck no. <laughs> Sean lives in North Carolina. Let's hit, let him decide. Sean, what do you want us to do? I, I need to find the trailer. Oh, that's fine. We have time. We Is have there a trailer? Oh, wait. All right. I found a scene. We're getting close. Back ah, now, yeah. and you can choose what we watch. All next right. Week. So is that what we're doing? We're doing Witchcraft 9 next week? Well, give yeah. me a minute. Give me a minute. I really want to really keep right. doing this because I feel like Witchcraft's going to fall off and we're never going to finish them all. I'm oh, no. What it. a pity. Oh, no. We're going to finish them. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's one thing awful. that witchcraft does is it well, finishes. Time's up. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. And Taylor says she doesn't care. She doesn't watch it anyway. Sean says do witchcraft. <laughs> All, right. All right. Listeners have spoken. Here we go. This is a scene. Oh, I'm regretting this. This, this looks so terrible. This looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are we doing? Taylor, Why is she checking the no. corner? There's no corner of the room. <laughs> Why is she checking the wall? Look at this place. Didn't span it. Oh, my God. Yeah. And when was the last time you ever... Uh, no. AJ. It looks awful. She's in hmm. Eyes of the Werewolf. She was the lady. He was the nurse. My eyes. Isn't my she? Eyes. My Isn't eyes. she the nurse? I think you're right. I really? Yes. Yes. That movie? That was a great movie. Stop chasing monsters. But if you haven't seen Eyes of the Werewolf, that's a, a great yeah, I can't watch it. Oh, look at this TV. I'm actually really into this movie right now. This is this freaking is bad. 
Let's this just watch is great. it. Let's just watch it live. Let's just do it. <laughs> this is we bad. need to do a watch along too, by the way. We haven't done one in a while. We do need yeah. to do one of those before you get, uh, get fully involved in your movie making. That's a temporary wall somebody built. That drywall it's is great. It's freaking terrible. Look at this yeah, speaker this with good. this thing on it. Yeah. That's what is that? Eight, that they, they want is that where you? It's a sculpture. It's the it's a phony. It's, it's the phony it's the Grammy. Award. Grammy, <laughs> the, uh, whatever that lady yeah, who they wrote all the, be all the witchcraft music. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be a man. <laughs> Dude, what? look at that room. That door almost fell off the friggin' hinges. Because <laughs> yeah. it was never attached, yeah. Darren. It was never attached. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is too good for the too show. Good. Oh, God, no. Witchcraft, I'm witchcraft turn down. 9, Where can the we find bitter it? flesh. Is it out? I think it's... A, Amazon think has it's, a bunch of them on there. So, Troma uh, has up Troma. to... I think it has up to 9. And then yes. 10 is on Tubi. Because that means um, I think that's when we get into new production stuff, and then they all become like soft core movies. So this right. might be the cutoff, guys. This might be it. Mm. Fun. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it's on trauma. If not, we'll have to track it down. Witchcraft nine. The witchcraft collection goes up to. <laughs> oh, it actually only goes up to collection? eight. It only goes up to eight on. Really? Um, Wait a second. So we might be in trouble here, guys. What what's what, what's the ninth one called? It's called Bitter Flesh, AJ. Uh, this is like the same kind of artwork and stuff. This is just It's not production. available on Amazon. We're we'll up to track it down. Don't worry. We're going to track it down. Witchcraft 9, Bitter Flesh. That's what we're watching next week. If anyone knows where to watch it, or bitter flesh? let us know. That would be helpful. Uh, bit her flesh, Aaron. Bitter Flesh. Like, bit, her flesh is bitter. Not like he bit her. Uh -oh. um, man, mm. this is going to be hard to find, guys. I guess oh, I found a website called noodlemagazine.com. It looks like it has the full thing. I don't what want to click that right now. It also has know. some weird <laughs> Russian words. So computer do virus implements. Do not <laughs> seek the treasure. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. So we're going to watch that. I'm excited. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm excited. Troma now. It says it's on Troma now. Oh, it is on Troma now. Witchcraft huh. night. You still oh, paying yeah, for that cool. shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Someone's got I, it. God damn it. I clicked the link and it took me to the site. You and single handedly keep making running. the movies. Yeah. Oh shit! I I can watch the movie. Sweet. The focus, the forces of good and evil, lock horns in battle for the future of mankind. Set in our modern world, filled with beautiful spirit channelers, serial killers, sensual erotica, and gut wrenching violence. In Witchcraft Nine, bitter flash, flash. flash the only thing gut wrenching flash, was the flash, freaking flash. drywall job in that first scene of the movie there. <laughs> Uh, everybody's a job. critic, right, AJ? Yeah. Everybody's a critic. Yep, yep. Check those corners. <laughs> She's in a square room. Building the like, drywall. You checking? You know, you're not going to know. What are you checking? All right. That's it for this week's episode. I know it was a little bit slower, a little bit more down to entertaining. earth. Yeah. A little less entertaining than some episodes. That's okay. They can't all be winners. You know, some of them are just okay. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Because as you get you older, fucking stop saying you okay. learn to accept things and move <laughs> on. And that's what we're doing. So next week, Witchcraft 9. If you enjoyed the show, please go to iTunes. Leave a review. Consider joining the Patreon. Get access to the Slack and all the bonus episodes and stuff. We appreciate Make the Make us watch patrons. terrible movies. We just picked yep. up. We got Kevin. We got... Uh, John. We got John. We got... Yeah. Uh, Lots of new members. It's very I don't exciting. remember Apathy's actual name. John. John. Oh, John. Oh, we have, have multiple several Johns. Johns. Yeah, we have John. <laughs> Chris has Johns. more Johns. Than <laughs> John Burnham. <laughs> at a Water Street. Hook. We got Kevin. I don't know his last name. Mm. Um, but mm -hmm. they're all interacting on Slack, so that's good to see. We're that's awesome. Friends. That's really cool. It's very um, cool. It's been fun yeah. with all the new interactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So consider joining the, the community. Uh, Patreon.com slash Night Show, guys. That's yeah. going to do it. We will catch you here next week. For witchcraft nine, good the bitter flesh. Bad movie night podcast. P -p podcast. P -p podcast. P -p podcast. P -p podcast. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night.